Episode 106, Familiar Face. Zack never would have thought that Tess, whom he thought he would only meet once, would actually meet him in Georgetown. What was especially strange was that Tess was currently carrying a basket on her back. The basket was filled with grass. Looking at the sickle in her hand, the grass in the basket was clearly cut out by her just now. Zack was very surprised. He even suspected that the two of them looked the same. This person was not Tess. But at this time, Kate also said, Isn't that the movie star Tess? Zack nodded in surprise and said, I think so too. I saw her at the airport and even chatted with her. She was wearing the same clothes as before, but why is she carrying grass? You met her? When he heard Kate's slightly tasteless voice, Zack immediately came back to his senses. He asked with a smile, Why? Are you jealous? Kate shook her head. No. Kate did not say anything else. He drove the car to Tess's side and lowered the window. Before he could say anything, Tess greeted him in surprise. Hey, it's you, Zack. It really was Tess. A celebrity had come here to experience life. Beside her, Kate slightly pouted her little mouth. She even knew his name and even called it happily. She did not say it out loud and only muttered in her heart. But Zack could already see something from her expression, so he called Kate to get out of the car and greet her. When she came close to Tess, Zack held Kate's slim waist and passionately introduced her. This is my girlfriend, Kate. Tess also happily stretched out her hand. Hello, I am Tess. Kate warmly held Tess's hand. At this moment, she was really happy. Zack dared to hug her waist, and also dared to openly introduce her as his girlfriend's identity. Tess was also very happy, which was enough to prove that there was nothing between the two of them. After chatting passionately for a while, Zack asked Tess, You are a big star. Why have you come here to cut grass when you could be filming? Do you want to experience life? Tess took the basket from her back and rubbed her shoulders. Experience life. I am teaching here. I will be teaching here for half a year. I have done this for about three years now. I take a break to teach here. Zack was stunned. He did not expect that there would be a female celebrity teaching in a village. He only heard that many university students came to the village to teach, but he did not expect that of all the people, a female celebrity would come. Most of the time this was mostly for a public stunt, and the famous person would only stay a few days to get enough footage and then leave. However. Tess has been here to teach for three consecutive years. Every time, it was still half a year. This was purely a good deed. Just as she was surprised by Tess's behavior, Kate said in surprise, So, the pretty girl that the students were talking about was you. Every time I came, they would tell me that there was a pretty girl who came to teach them for a long time. But because I was too busy with work, I could only stay for a few days each time and never met you. Tess was also very surprised. Then you must be the nice lady that they were talking about. The children told me that you often come to visit them and each time you would bring a lot of money to the village and bring them back to the city to treat their illnesses. Kate, you are so beautiful. I like it when I look at you. And you are not only beautiful, you are also beautiful in your heart. These two women were actually offering love in Georgetown and they had never actually met. Today. The two of them met and praised each other, making Zack feel embarrassed to continue listening to them. Luckily, Kate also knew that Zack was tired after driving for the whole night, so she quickly opened the trunk of the car and carried Tess's basket over. Tess, why don't you hop in the car? We can chat and drop you off. Tess was polite and took the sickle and prepared to walk towards the trunk, but at the same time, suddenly, someone ran over from the front of the car with a pale face. This person was in his early 20s and his entire body was covered in branded goods. However, he was so dirty that he couldn't even be seen. When he came closer, he looked at Tess. Then his provocative gaze landed on Zack. He lifted his foot and stepped on the wheel. You chased after Tess. Wow, you really have a good nose. You even knew Tess was hiding here? But I think your face is a little too big. You dared to chase Tess after driving such a lousy car? 
Do you really think you're a rich man? Do you know who I am? Do you know about the Sunny Day Corporation? That's my father's. Sunny Day Corporation? His father's. Zack was amused. How could he know about Sunny Day Corporation? It was the company that Lewis used to be the CEO of for Finance Corporation. It was a small part of the Marquez family's business. If Lewis had not been the CEO of Finance Corporation, Zack would not have remembered that his family had such a company. And this young man actually said that it belonged to his father? Zack said with a smile, Yes, your father. If you're willing, you can even say that you're your own grandfather. The young man was quite proud of himself. How is it? Now you know how to be afraid, right? You know the two cents in your pocket aren't good for anything, right? Just as he was feeling pleased with himself, Tess, who was beside him, opened her mouth and said, Kendrick, don't think that everyone is as useless as you. The arrogant man, Kendrick, heard Tess's scolding and immediately put on a flattering smile. Yes, yes, yes. Tess, you are right. When I go back, I will definitely change my past. I will study hard and strive to suppress my father in the future. I will be more successful than him. It could be seen that this Kendrick was quite good to Tess. He was not angry, even after being mercilessly rebunked, and instead, he was smiling. Moreover, since he was able to chase Tess to this remote Georgetown, he was especially interested in Tess. However, Tess did not take a liking to him and directly turned her head and got into the car. At this time, Kate also came out from the back of the car and slightly stretched out her hand to stroke the messy hair in front of her forehead. That touch of unintentional revealing grace stunned Kendrick. Kate was in the car just now and did not understand what was said outside. When she saw Kendrick, she asked, This is... Zack hugged her and kissed her hard. He then introduced her to Kendrick grandly. Mr. Smartass? Huh? Kate did not even have time to react before Zack pushed her into the car. The next moment, Zack got into the driver's seat and started the car. Kendrick became anxious. He quickly went forward to close the back door of the car, but Zack closed it from the inside. Kendrick said anxiously, What about me? Zack laughed and said, It's just a crappy car. Don't want to sit in the back and look foolish. Don't want to dirty your noble ass. Kendrick looked at the G63 that had just left and stomped his foot angrily. Damn it! If it wasn't for the fact that my Ferrari can't drive up here, I would definitely let you see what it means to be rich.